Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I ask that you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Before I start today's video, I would like to make a legal disclaimer. As you guys can see, the title of this video is The Ugly Truth About Organ Harvesting. So I want to declare that I do not have any factual evidence or any discoveries of organ harvesting being performed in Jamaica. So I will not be pointing finger at any particular individual and or institution in Jamaica. I've decided to cover this subject because since of lately, I would say within the last year, every time I look into a Jamaican newspaper or search online for Jamaican news, along with accidents on the highways, along with um, a politic political news, and along with the everyday expected news from Jamaica, I often see missing teenagers around the ages of 15 and 16 mainly. Almost every time, I'm telling you, if you research Jamaican news for the last one year, every time you look in the news, there is a missing 15 year old or a missing 16 year old, mainly female, but I have also seen males that have been missing. And although some of these teenagers have reported to have been found and returned home, the majority of the news that I've read had no follow-up. So I just assumed that these teenagers were never found and they never returned with their family. On my own, on my very own, my mind just kind of went into the area of organ harvesting and I wondered if that's what's going on where these teenagers are concerned because within the last two years as you guys know human trafficking has been a big subject in worldwide news and for that reason I decided let me share my two pieces with my audience especially my Jamaican people because organ harvesting is a big business you know it's probably aligned with anything that's on wall street trading that is deemed profitable argon harvesting is one of those things that goes on in the black market but it is golden people it is a money-making business and there's an ugly truth about it that i wondered are the average jamaican people aware of this ugly truth that is actually going on in our society. See, the truth to the fact is this. The most valuable asset in this world is our life. The most valuable asset in this world is human life. And our body parts, our organs are the driving force, or one of the driving forces that helps us to have longevity or live and you know most people may think what i'm about to say is bias but i'm gonna say it when it comes to human beings you know um it has been established that black people people of african heritage we carry some of the strongest genes in the world and you know credits to jamaica and the food we eat you know so credits to our culture credits to our ground food credits to our yam our banana our dashin our okra and so on and so forth the agriculture the natural food that are still being consumed by Jamaican people or black people in a whole but you know my channel is about Jamaica so I'm gonna direct that to Jamaican people um, unfortunately that fact is fading a lot of Jamaicans are now craving artificial food but something about the food the natural food that we consume combined with our natural genetic buildup make our organs valuable and you know rich people worldwide rich people think because they have money they have a right to buy life and i'm not against transplant you know i'm not against organ transplant but i am against the rich people who believes that you know what i have money my loved one needs a particular 
body parts and I don't feel like waiting. So I'm going to spend my money and I'm going to get it on the black market. So organ harvesting is really an industry that's driven by the greed of the rich and their self-centered attitude that believes that money should buy life. I understand that when it comes to Medicare and when it comes to medicine in the in the modern world, you know, most of us do live in a modern world that we call uh, a, a civil society. Um, every, almost every person that passed away in a hospital, um, I would say nine out of 10, the reason why that individual passed away is because he or she did not have sufficient finance to keep their life going. So I'm quite aware of the fact that um, human beings are trying to sell life or trying to buy life. But at the same time, I want parents worldwide, especially Jamaicans, to be aware of this ugly truth, but more than anything, be more vigilant of your children and their whereabouts. I mean, we live in a time now where our children have cell phone and contacting them and knowing their whereabouts is quite easy. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't take much to sit down with your teenagers or even a younger one and explain this ugly truth to them to let them know that, well, you know, don't speak to strangers and let me know as your parents where you are and what you're doing at what time. You know, let them know, let them know, let them even know how much they're valued. Let them know that there are body parts within them, that people out there are trying to steal, that people out there would want to take from them. People will discard their life for their own selfish gain. Let our children know that our world is also treacherous as much as it, as it is beautiful. We are killing our own kind. We are taking our own kind. You know, when I say our own kind, I'm not even talking about black or white. I'm just talking about human beings in a whole. So whether it's being done in um, North American side of the globe or the Asian side of the globe, it's irrelevant. It's us. It shows the transparent evil that some of us possess, that we could take our own human being, especially the young children, and have their hearts or their lungs or their kidney and sell it for the exchange of mere money. I'm not aware if this is a subject that's discussed in school or by the Jamaican government public service announcement, but if it's not, it's one of those subjects that I believe parents in Jamaica should push towards their children. The Education Department of Jamaica should also make this a public awareness because it's there. It is happening, people, and I think Jamaican parents and Jamaican children should be quite aware of this situation. So yeah, today's video is really a informational video. It has nothing to do directly with Jamaica and it has nothing to do directly with the politics of Jamaica, which I often combat on my channel. but. The missing children of Jamaica has been a growing concern to me and um, my mind goes in many areas. Of course, I understand that they are what we call bad kids in Jamaica that often run away from their parents because they want to do their own thing or they want to grow up too fast. And you know what? In this case, I hope that the, the ones that are gone missing, that is actually the case because that, that being the case would be more of a relief to me than the simple fact that they have been caught up in this whole human trafficking and organ harvesting you know because not only jamaicans i love people i love humanity in a whole you know so uh, i think everybody has a right to live out their natural biological clock you know i don't think our lives should be cut short whether that be by violence or whether that be by this ugly truth that i've that i've covered today Anyway guys, I would like to hear your guys feedback on what you think of my subject matter today and I would like to hear what you guys know about hogging harvesting, what you think of it and also while we're doing that, you know, each one teach one on this channel so let me know what you think about um, 
transplants, you know, organ transplants. I'm talking about when someone die of natural or unnatural causes, but their body parts could be reused to save another person's life or help another person to live on longer. Let me know what you think of that, because for a long time in my personal life, I was against transplants. And then, you know, as the years go by and I learned more about life and living and so on and so forth, I kind of weighed over to the side of supporting it. So yeah, once again, people, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continuous support. Thank you for the commentaries that you guys often put into my videos, because like I've always said, I like reading them and I'm always open to teaching someone what I know and equally open to learn someone learn something from my subscribers because in life no one knows it all and like I always say on my channel people each one teach one until next time peace